We have an awesome video for you tonight, so I need those thumbs ups and subscribe if you haven't already because we had two awesome boxes, just price final records. We had a whole bunch of promotional stuff. You're absolutely going to love them. And on top of that, we got CDs and we got cassettes that were just priced, just went out, really cool. And it's Saturday, so you know that means it's family fun day. Should have had water watch this video and leave me some comments. And thumbs up, please. What? So this is what goes on before each and every video. What? I got all these cassettes to show off that were just priced and going out tomorrow. I figured since I showed cassettes last time and I've sold a truck ton of them, <laughs> it was kind of crazy how many cassettes we've sold. Mm -hmm. We priced a bunch more to refill that table again. Because every time I go to fill it, it empties. So I feel, I feel like I'm racing everybody. I mean, Madonna, come on. Greg Howe, Faith No More, The Real Thing. What? Epic's on there, great song. Tesla, Duran Duran, Aerosmith. Nice, Alice Cooper, Greatest Hits. And what, two Faith No Mores. There's Poison, and there's, there's another Poison up top. Don't forget the Guns N' Roses, what? We got Kiss. Pearl Jam. Wow, another Guns N' Roses Motley Crew. Girls, girls, girls. Like I said, guys, we're putting out crazy amount of cassettes. These were ones that I had in the back, but I'm like, eh, it's time to get them out. There's a couple more Teslas and ACDC, Def Leppard, Van Halen, U2, Allman Brothers. What? Europe. And it's not the final countdown, but they're Stormfront by Billy Joel. Because he didn't start the fire. It was Junior always, and I know it was. He did start the fire. Yeah. It must have been his shoes, cause they're crazy. Why? What? I love you, dude. Uh, okay. We have a few tonight, just price final records. And they're awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Spectacular. What? Do you know why they're so awesome? Yes. Yes, I do. Why? It's written all over the record. Okay. All over the record. Boom! Tom Waits, Blue Valentine. It is a promotional copy. It is a white label promo. No, no. How could you tell it was a promotional copy, Brooke? Hmm, I gotta see the little black. They gave it away, didn't they? <laughs> okay. right I mean, too. you know, the, oh, yeah. the sticker helped, mm -hmm. but that just gave it away. Yeah, a lot of these are promotional. A lot of them are label, white label promos, but some of them, even though they'll say promotional like this, it's not a white label promo. Let me see it. That's an actual white yes. label promo. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and it's a gatefold. And it's a gatefold. Let's see. Oh, nice, nice. Very cool. Is it right there? Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. I mean, Tom Waits. Yeah. How much better could you get? Interesting. And a bunch of words. Looks like the lyrics to all the songs. And he's open 24 hours. See? What? <laughs> How have you open 24 hours? <laughs> Could you imagine? I feel like that SpongeBob episode where you won't hire any new people. <laughs> It'll just be us. No, you can't go home. No. Are you, are you trying to call me Mr. Krabs? <laughs> oh, I was just bringing up an example. And then we've got Vincent Price, Witchcraft Magic, mm -hmm. an adventure in demonology. Okay? Okay. Vincent Price is known for being in over a hundred horror movies, and he's got two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Oh, wow. Two. 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 One for movies and one for television. Okay. Oh. And see, I'm not exactly sure how um, how to take this record because the like third track is about Hitler and witchcraft. So I think it just goes into the entire history of witchcraft and women in witchcraft. So yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. <sighs> the Outsiders. Garage Rock from the late 60s. Well, you know what I gotta say about that? What? It's better than the Insiders. What? Scorpions? In Trance. Ooh, I haven't seen that one in a long time. I know, right? Very, very cool. I love that album. Fever Tree Creation. Psych Rock from 69. I know it is. <clears throat> what? Stop looking at me funny. This is not yours. Gary Newman, The Pleasure Principle, and it was in last night's box. We got another copy. Oh, is that what happened? Mm hmm Okay. Ooh. Specials. Okay. Some yeah, Star, Scott. right? Turn it around. It's not the one they reissued, is it? I don't think so. No, no, it's not the one that they just ah, reissued. Ah, promo. Mm hmm Very cool. Gold stamp promo. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. And then we got Dion, Wonder Where I'm Bound. 
Oh, wonder where I thought wonder. she said underwear on bound. Wonder where I'm bound. You blew my freaking time. My mind's in the gutter. <sighs> wonder where I'm bound. Okay. Bam Springsteen. And he was live. He was live for 10 whole years. 10 whole years. Yeah. He's got the book and all five records, and they're beautiful. The police? And it's yellow. It's yellow. That doesn't Ooh, happen a lot. Yellow label, not yellow vinyl. David Bowie? Let's dance. But oh, wait. What? I got David Bowie special radio series. Look, it was volume one. Oh, wow. David Bowie was volume one. Very cool. It's radio play. Okay. And like Could you turn that around? Stuff. It was what? It's a special five volume set of radio specials. Okay. This volume features David Bowie. Oh, and it has your boy on there. Yeah. That's volume number two. two. That's number three. Oh. That's number four. That's number five. Okay, I mm -hmm. get it now. Very cool. Yeah, right? Yeah. Because we've had these before. We had the red one, but I don't remember who was on it. We had an orange one, but I don't remember who was on it. But mm. I remember having him before. And I was like, woohoo, it's David Bowie, and he's number one. Well, like I say, you're hitting him with another killer box. I'm trying. Last night's box, though, was epic. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was rare stuff. That, that was pretty, like, mind-blowing and good. <laughs> but this is good stuff, yeah, too. This, this one's pretty killer. All right. Because mm -hmm. can't heat. And they were? They were, they were live in Europe. All right. And then we've got more canned heat. Son of Shmil Smilian. <laughs> so, you know, we've got Harry Nielsen. Is it on there? Is it in there? Yes. It is in there. It is. It blah, is. blah, blah. The first emo poster ever. No, goth poster ever. Yeah, no, it was him in the bathroom was the first emo poster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right. He went after emo and he went after goth. Uh-huh. Well, he wanted to be Vincent Price and be in all those horror movies. Is that what it was, you think? Probably. Ah, nice, but see, nice. it's got all the lyrics on the back. So Very there's cool. no way you're going to screw up the words because look how big they are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's like 14 or 16 point five. Well, you know something? He's probably an owner of a lonely heart. What? I'm just saying. In excess, the swing. Kick? No, not kick. Oh, no? Not kick. Oh. BG's Greatest Hits. Okay. Fleetwood Mac, Nectar, Remember the Future. Now, you, I heard a rumor. What's that? They are touring yes, again. Yes, I heard that rumor too that they are touring. I see it on Facebook. Yeah. From Nectar themselves. Ah. <gasps> Todd Rundgren, something? Anything. 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 Todd Rundgren? Ooh, let me guess. Promotional. Is it a white label or no? I don't think so. You gotta check these things when it yeah, says promotional no, like that. Not. I tried to write them all down when they were promotional. Okay, okay, we have mm -hmm. to double check though because you never know. Sometimes it was a white label promo, sometimes it was not a white label promo. Oh, there was one that I looked up and there's a blue label promo. Well, here's here's the thing with that, right? The reason why it says promotion on there is because these did come from a radio station. Mm -hmm. And when the radio station copies, they didn't pay for them. No. So they were promotional to them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean they're white label. It mm -hmm. doesn't mean they're gold stamped. It means that they were promotional. They were promotional, so they were free to the radio station. Mm -hmm. So that they'd play them. Yes, 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 it's yes. And so I have a fun fact. Did what you know, you know about yes? Did you at one of their first concerts, they opened for Cream. Really? Yes. Okay. It's, it's, a, hell, it's a hell yeah. of a... Yeah, it was, well, it was yeah. one of their very first shows that they opened for them, which is honestly kind of insane. <laughs> very, very cool. Oh. Yes, 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 it's yes. And their name is yes because it was short and sweet. Ah. And, to the point. <laughs> and this C1, this also says promotional copy, not for sale, but yeah. it's not, it doesn't say promotional on the label. Okay, okay. So that means that they probably stuck it on and then gave it to the radio station. Yes. More than likely they ran out of the white label promos. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say it, but the radio station was probably an afterthought. Not, not one of the big but cities. But at least they got it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it could have been a college radio station, too. It's kind of like us. We're, we're, we're always playing second fiddle. What? We kind of are. The Youngbloods. Bob Dylan. And he's got the hype sticker. That's nice. Bob Dylan. Then we got the Jay Giles Band. Jay, Gu Jay is, Giles Is that band? promotional? This is promotional. It is a white label promo. Is it? It is. What do you know about the Jay Giles Band? Okay, so they used to be called Snoopy and the Sopworth Camels. Okay, I like it. Yes, yeah, before um, Giles, Jay Giles band. Before Giles was um in the band because he was in a college technical school type of thing. Okay, very cool. You know what I know about Jay Giles? What? what? Love stinks. Yeah, yeah. You know oh, what oh. else I know about Jay Giles? What? <laughs> his dad was an accountant. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> well. one one of his one of our customers was he was his accountant. Oh, isn't that interesting? Nice. 
I totally go to his his uh, CPA firm because uh, uh you know yeah. just to hear stories. Yep. Jay Giles man. And they were live. They were live. Wow. <laughs> I uh, had to be it really quickly. More emotion, please. <laughs> they were live, I guess. Yeah. The Cow Sills. John Mayle. Edgar Wintergroup. Paul Simon. The Ventures. Is it clean? It is pretty damn clean. It's pretty damn uh, clean. It's pretty damn clean. All right. I was All pretty right. excited. Cartoon. 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 This is Prog Rock from 69. Okay. Cartoon. Beginning with Cartoon. I don't know it. And Jimmy Page was a guest artist. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. Very, very cool. Okay, I, I gotta say, I don't know it. Mm -hmm. I don't even recognize the names besides Jimmy Page. I know. Huey Lewis and the News. Eric Clapton. Jeff Beck. Pretenders. 10CC. Duran Duran. Arena, so you know what that means. They were live, they were live. It was recorded around the world. Around the world. Around the world. All right. John B. Sebastian, and that one was a white label promo. And it's a timestamp. Mm hmm. Very cool. And then G we've got. John Sebastian. <laughs> he was live. He was live. All he right. Was real All live. Right. Ohio Express. It's the very best of compilation of Ohio Express, so they consider it bubblegum music. Like bubblegum pop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Strobs. And they see us so you can go. Wiki wiki woo. But this one's a promo. What? White label? Not white label, just a promo. Okay. 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 Strobs. Rainbow. Rainbow. Don Nix, American Flyer, JoJo Gunn, nice. The Elvis? No, it's not. It's the hits of Elvis Presley as performed by Bucky D. James, and the Nashville Explosion. Ah, okay. Wow. Mhm. Mm Sticks. Ah. Alan Parsons Project. Tycoon. Horizon Music Records and Tapes. This was promotional. Okay. Blues Rock. Blues Rock Comp. Ozark Mountain Daredevils. The Head Boys. Ooh, what kind of music is that? Are they calling it New Wave? Uh, yeah, New Wave and Pop Rock. Mm, could be. A, could, looks like it may have some early, early on punk in mm -hmm. there. Well, I mean, but you got to think the Head Boys. You know what that means, right? They were like first in their class. I'm just saying. Didn't you learn anything from Harry Potter? You see these dudes and how they're dressed? Mm -hmm. How they look like semi-pretty, but they look like bad boys? Mm-hmm. It, it might have some early punk flavor to it. Faces. I hear you, but look how they're dressed. No, I'm just saying. Face. Good. And he's also Loving it. Side. John Denver. More John, John Denver. Denver. Another John Denver. Is it really promotional? Across the guitar. Maybe Across the guitar the was promotional. Maybe the guitar was promotional. Mm. Mm -hmm. We got another box, don't yes, we? Yes, yes, we do. I mean, it wouldn't yeah. be a Saturday without two boxes. Exactly. <sighs> so you go wiki wiki woo with the boxes. What? You go wiki wiki woo with the. You go wiki wiki woo with everything. <laughs> Taxi Driver soundtrack. Okay. Xanadu. Donald Fagan did this soundtrack. You gotta walk like you talk it. Interesting. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know it. The Big Chill. I know that one. <laughs> Godspell, The Electric Horseman, Willie Nelson, James Galway, Annie Song, Force MDs. Okay. Full album. Midnight Band. Gil Scott Heron. Nice, oh, okay. Nice. West Montgomery. I'm telling you, man, these boxes just keep going. America the Beautiful is Gary McFarlane. Okay. Jerry Butler, Chuck Mangione. More Chuck Mangione. Got another Chuck Mangione. Sea Wind. The High Lows. Glenn Miller. Oh. No, come on. We got a lot of really, really cool jazz. And then we got some really cool funk and soul. And then we got some more rock. All right. Oh, wait, All right. I'm just saying. Too. I'm and just saying. Singles. You're losing me here. Okay. Okay. We got Enoch Light. Pete Fountain. Summer Place. Dean, Dean Martin. Martin. And it's an import from the UK. Okay. Dean okay. Martin. Martin. Getting there. Joe Sample. Yeah. Joe Earl Sample, Klug. The Camel. I love that album. Yeah. <laughs> Earl Klug. The Man. Promotional. <laughs> it's Funk and Fusion. <clears throat> okay. I don't know it. Cross Section. <laughs> don't kill me. Grand Funk. No. What? Sly and the Family That's Stone. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, How long close. has it been since we've had this? It's been a long time. This since is. We've... 
<laughs> right? Right? This is this is in uh not TikTok, Instagram. That's right. That, that that's your profile this picture. This is my profile picture holding this record on 4th of July in the Phillipsburg Mall. Hmm. Okay. That's crazy. Funkadelic. Uncle Jam watch. You Whitney, Houston? The Withers. What other Whitney would it be? That's why I like when I have clarified. <laughs> <laughs> it's in fact Whitney Houston. Bill Withers. Change. Barry White. Baby. Which the section is empty, so very exciting. Oh, wow. All right. Mm -hmm. Donna Summer. Diana Ross. The Tramps. Do -do 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 -do. Sorry. It was Space coming. Out Disco Fever. Themes from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And so Alien Inferno! Burn, burn baby, baby burn. burn! Alien Inferno! Burn, burn baby, baby burn. Yeah, it was going there. Average, Average White Band. <clears throat> Billy Preston. Jimmy Buffett. Ruffin. Jimmy Ruffin. <laughs> <laughs> you really must want to go to Margaritaville, but you're too young! <laughs> the Ritchie Family. Asleep at the Wheel. Kenny Rogers. More Kenny Rogers. It's actually them. Kenny Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Dueling Banjos. An Evening with, Ooh, with Gaucho. Now nice, see, nice. this is normally two LPs. This is just one because it's a white label promo. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so they just sent out the one. You know who would kill for this record? No. Houston. <laughs> Houston yeah. is a big freaking fan. Well, you know the problem with Houston? What? He told me he wanted Woody Guthrie. Uh -huh. I got him Woody Guthrie. I told him I had Woody Guthrie. I messaged him on Facebook. I messaged him on his phone. I called him. I still have Woody Guthrie, and Houston still hasn't bought it. Well, all, all I gotta do is message him. He'll call me back. <sighs> Babes in Toyland. Nice, nice. <laughs> Bert's Blockbuster. Nice, Bert, man. You got rid of Ernie. You kicked him off the couch. I feel ya. Classical. More classical. Then we got a disco single of uh, the, the Gap, Gap Band. Band. Nice. And we've got an Ital Italio oh, disco. Okay. Uh, yeah, Italio <laughs> disco single of. Pizza Inferno! Burn, baby, burn! Uh, Sorry. I U D Y. Udi? Udi? Udi and the Bullfish? I U D Y. Udi? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, right there. Udi. It looks like it's a Judy. Judy. It's a Judy. That, well, they told me that there is no J. It's an I. I U D Y. Ah, typo. Udi. And we're back to rock with Genesis. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Al Stewart. Not the Turner Overdrive. Asia. Asia. Wang Chung. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Quarterman. And you know what is very exciting about this? What? It's a Q. Q? It's a Q. So, because you know, we've sure. got Queen and then we've got Q. We've we got Queen, we got Quarter Flash. And then we got... And Quicksilver. Yes. And Bill Porterman. Bread. Andrew Gold. Neil Diamond. And Sweet Caroline is on here. And it, it was, was live. It was live. That's why it's on there. <laughs> Chili Whack. Gary Puckett. The Escape Club. Doobie Brothers. Duchette. Kenny Loggins. And, uh, oh, Loggins and Messina. Kenny Loggins. Eric Carmen, Little River Band. Single Man. Rod McEwen. Dan Fogelberg, Carly Simon. Now, do you know why Carly Simon started singing? Why? She started singing because she had a horrible stutter. Oh. But when she sang, she didn't stutter. Okay. So if she couldn't get a word out, her mother told her to sing it. Well, I know on TikTok when you did this, somebody left a very bad comment about yeah. Carly Simon. Yeah. Kind of blew my mind. I don't know how true it is. They said she was born with a silver spoon in her mouth. And she's a mean, mean person Oh, well, in real life. I don't know how, to, I, again, Well, that, is, that was one comment out of like That is 20. horrible to hear, but her family was well off. But her father died when she was 14. She would have traded all that in for another day yeah. with him, I'm sure. Yeah, and then her mother, her mother died, you know, too. So, no. you know. No. It, I'm, I'm, I just, I, I was dumbfounded by mm -hmm. his comment. Mm-hmm. I knew she came for money, but Linda Ronstadt, Seals and Croft, Captain and Tennille, more Captain and Tennille, got another Captain and Tennille, Barry Manilow, mm -hmm. more Barry Manilow, oh, Jackson okay. Brown, <laughs> Bette Midler, different strokes for different folks. Laura Nero, Johnny Winter, oh, yeah. Chambers <laughs> Brothers. What do you think Poco? I said it? My Poco's in here. Is it Poco with Timothy? All right, you know something. What? Pretty good two boxes you got mm -hmm. going on. There. A lot of promotional stuff, yes. I gotta say. Yes, Promos. There was. 
Um, you know what I need, right? No, a pole. What? We need a pole. Pick something I ain't think. You got five seconds. Go! <laughs> you got two hours. <laughs> Take your time. I'm just gonna wander around the store. We have been selling a crazy amount of Tay Tay. Taylor Swift Speak Now is on SpinAroundStore.com on the super sales page for dirt cheap. And people have been taking advantage of it, which is a beautiful thing. Anything you see new here is also available on there. If it's not, message us and we will put it up, but only the new. We don't ship the used. Some Ariana Grande. Oh, there was Folklore, Dolly Parton. What? Ten tons of stuff. This is the indie exclusive. Very cool. And like that. What you got, Brookie? Okay, I got Ultravox. Ultravox? Yes, one of my friends is a huge fan of Ultravox. Are you a fan of Ultravox? Yes, I am actually. So, yeah, right. She got me into it. She talks about it so much. I just, I had, I got used to it. You have some <laughs> great friends. Yes. What are you working with? Chuck, no, Captain Chuck. All right, you need to listen to this album. It's not necessarily emo <laughs> music, but it's kind of that thing. It's, it's like, emo music. It's emo mixed with pop. All right, it's it's emo, oh, so but there's punk. a ton. There's a ton of auto tune, so it makes it pop. But yes. Listen, I read the comments below. I was watching that video you put in the Spin Me Round group yeah. on Facebook, and I read the comments on the video. Huh? They were calling it pop punk. I wouldn't necessarily say that. No? I haven't heard the it, whole it's, album. It's, I guess it is pop punk, but it's definitely more pop than punk. It's All right. Pop. But everybody <laughs> should check out. Yes. Chunk, no Captain Chunk. Our text messages yesterday about this title were so funny. <laughs> yes. That's a weird band name. Okay, what are you working with? I picked some Ringo Starr. Ring what? I think he needs some more love. What's love got to do? Got, got to, to do, do with it. it. What's love but a second hand emotion? All right, all What's right. I, I, all right, all right. It's enough. It's enough, Tina. I know what that far is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it goes, goes pretty far. Now, I, I have to make a selection here, don't I? I want to be biased and go with you, but you know something. I kind of like Ultravox myself. Me and you are going to argue about that later. So I'm going with Ultra Box. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. You you won my official pick, but we want to know what everybody else would pick down below. I mean, because my pick really doesn't count. I hope I influenced everybody, though. Would you pick Chunk? No Captain <laughs> Chunk. I had to reread that title because it's crazy. Ultra Box, Vienna, which is an awesome album. Or Ringo Starr. Is this his EP or is this a full album? No, I, I think this is a ZP. Right? Yeah, it's like five songs. All right, yeah. all right. So let us know down below who you would pick. What you doing? I'm just looking at this. Oh, looking at the Pac-Man game. Yeah, I'm looking at this. Which one is that? Dig Dog. Nice, nice. Thought you were looking at the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Ah. I already have plenty. I know, I know. We also got CDs just priced. Well, that's a weird Metallica. What? Ah, Van Morrison, Carly Simon, I seen, Bruce Springsteen, Rod Stewart, Scandal Warrior. What? What's a Scandal Warrior? It's a CD. But do you know what a scandal is? No, no, no. It's when you do something bad and they're still trying to figure it out. That's a weird one. I don't think that one belongs in here. Mmm, it says CD or definitely not. It does not go out in my store. All right. The Vandals. What? The party. Elton John, Faith Hill. What is that? Bethel Music. I don't know it. Walls. Ah, Cheryl Crow, Rock Around the Clock. Interesting. Pearl Jam. Luke Bryan. That's right. Dane Cook. I wonder whatever happened to him. He was awesome. Kelly Clarkson, Bush, Rick Springfield, Toby Keith, Little Feet, Frank Sinatra, Ozzy, Tool, what? Undertow, Roy Orbison, Billy Ray Cyrus, I guess there's a lot of country, Fleetwood Mac, Carly Simon, Whew. yeah, see, every single day this stuff goes out, every single day. Always some more stuff. Another Pearl Jam. What else we got here? 
Russia fools, Def Leppard, hysteria. There you go. Pour some sugar on me. Lincoln Park with Jay Z. Oh man, this last this this corner's tough because it's right next to the counter. What do we got here? Buck Cherry, Bon Jovi, Billy Joel, more Pearl Jam, Three Doors Down, David Allen Coe, very cool, Bob Marley Collection, Faith Hill, Shania Twain, Whew. The Hours Motion Picture Soundtrack. Okay. 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 Don't forget we got Space Camp here too. Gotta love Space Camp. If you don't know who they are, I suggest you check it out. Very much so. It's Rebel Hippie Music. What? Rebel Hippie Music. Uh, okay. Mmm. Love your shirt, dude. Thank you. Where can they buy that awesome t-shirt? Do you know? At SpinningAroundStore.com. There you go. That was not rehearsed. Not one bit. No. Frankly, I am surprised that you remembered. Still stuck in my brain after all of the videos we say about it. Ah, hopefully it's stuck in everybody's brain. <laughs> What's today? Saturday Family Day. Oh, it's Family Day in the record store. I know, but we're still missing people. Mm. Family is not big enough. I know, I know. They're still on vacation. I know. <sighs> I'm on vacation. What? Vacation, all I ever wanted. Vacation. All right, but you know something? Mm -hmm. We did have a winner last week. Yes, yes, yeah. we did. Yes. Yes. I don't know, about 1 o'clock in the morning? Something like that. Yeah. Somebody made their first purchase. You know what they purchased? What? Uh, Everything. <laughs> they bought all of your picks. Yeah. One of each got bought extremely fast. So, you know what you all get? One thing you want in the record store, but you got 10 seconds to grab it. Ten, nine. <laughs> You're like, I own it all already. I own it all. It's all mine. Until it sells. Until it sells, it's mine. Yeah, pretty so I much. I don't got to run for anything. All right. All right. You don't want nothing. No, I'm good. You don't want a kissy? I stole it something. No. You didn't steal it because you want it. You want it. What'd you pick? <laughs> oh, Dig Dog. The little, oh, we were just looking at that, weren't we? Yeah. All right. I've been really right. wanting this thing. All right, what'd you pick? Creeper. Creeper? Yes, I didn't own this surprisingly as much as I talk about Oh, but you got the other one autographed. How are you going to get this one autographed? Uh, so I'm going over to the UK and visiting them at one of their shows. Now, well, I did... You need a real ID. I did put up a Creeper album on the super sales page of yes. SpinMeAroundStore.com. American Noir, it's their EP, but it's pretty much a full-length album. Okay, and what did you pick? Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse, because last time you got Ella King, not Amy Winehouse, yeah. right? Oh. Yeah, I got Ella King and... I wanted the Amy Winehouse one. Great! Way to confuse everybody. We love you for it. Yeah. All right, so we got that out of the way. Mm -hmm. Now we do have a game, right? Yes, we do. All right, we'll be right back, and we will go over the rules and the fun part of this game. But this game involves no winners, because we're already winners. Exactly. What? So, I heard we have an awesome game for tonight. And it was Brooke's turn to pick the game. What game did you pick, Brooke? Okay, so it is story time. So you're making a story. So each person is making one sudden. So it'll be starting off with me being like, once upon a time, this girl went to the woods. And then it'd be like, when you ask me, I'd be like, oh, okay, this will met, this girl met a coyote. And it goes on and on. Okay. And we're going to keep this going for five minutes. Mm -hmm. Do we all got this? Yes. yes. Does everybody understand a story time game? Yes. yes. Everybody understands the rules. Yes. Okay, and if you mess up, you're out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what out is, but you're out. And then I will watch the video 900 times and make a book, and you will illustrate it, and we will publish it. <laughs> what? This yeah. is a great idea. Isn't this a great idea? We could totally yeah. do this. Yeah. And it's going on the spinning round label, too? Yes. yes. That's right, man. That's <laughs> right. The round label. <laughs> they don't know nothing about that yet. Okay, so are we going to begin this? Yes. yes. Should we have the people vote at the end on who made up the best sentences for the story? That's an idea. Mm, do we like that? Yeah. yeah, that works. Since everybody in this family is very competitive, yes. and there always has to be some sort of a winner on everything, even though we're all winners. <laughs> who eats ice cream the fastest? Me. <laughs> what? That would be it. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it was mm. my, bra my braces went against me. <laughs> oh, 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 you're blaming the braces? Yeah, it was now. All I right. was broken. All right, you know something? <laughs> what? Yeah. Let's begin. 
Okay, so once upon a time, there was this little fox. A little fox. And it found a bakery. <laughs> what? And the bakery had tons of pastries. And the little fox knew that she could not eat too many pastries or she would get a bellyache. <laughs> little fox, little fox, let me in. So his little fox's idea was to take some and run away with them. And she ate a lot of them, but she ended up just keep running and running and running, burning off all the calories. <laughs> and then she eventually had to use the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> so then she had to find a really nice tree to use the bathroom, and she had to have somewhere to put her leftover pastries. Little fox, little fox, where's my toilet paper? <laughs> so she found a fire hydrant instead. <laughs> And a turtle took her pastries. <laughs> and then she, and then and then this um turtle took the pastries. No, um, <laughs> I don't remember the name, but the little fox. Um, someone thought it was rabbit and called and called the police. Mm, on the fox oh. or the turtle? Fox. Oh. Animal control? They called animal control yes. on the fox? I don't think they call animal control on the fox. I think they'd have to call animal control on the turtle. Because they didn't understand how a turtle could run so <laughs> fast. Little turtle, little turtle, move your ass! Oh, oh. So the little turtle starts speeding way as quick as its little shell can go. And it got to river and it drowned all the donuts and pastries. <laughs> And then the wolf lived happily ever after in the vet. Did you just end our story? Yes. Yes, I did. That was terrible. No. What? No, because see, you don't understand how fast sugar makes turtles go. Because it's almost like an allergic reaction because it makes the turtles go so fast. So the turtle was going across the river like a speedboat. You know something? <laughs> what? what? Little turtle, little turtle, get rid of the evidence. <laughs> so then it didn't know it was going so fast and it got to land. What? And the fish ate all the donuts and pastries. While he was in the water, the turtle? Yeah. No, the fish. <laughs> it, was, it went to a river. I'm um, home. Um. <laughs> And then the fish <laughs> swam back to his home and shared it with his friends and family. Nice. Yeah. So then you had all these little fish that were going really, really, really fast and making all these bubbles. And they didn't understand why. And there were so many <laughs> bubbles that the fisherman hooks couldn't get to them. And the fishermen couldn't understand why they weren't catching any fish. And what are all these bubbles? Fisherman, fisherman, fisherman suck. And the oh. little fox came back to where my pastries. I was like, where the heck did my pastries go? So the little fox came back looking for his pastries? Yeah. Okay. And was very upset when it seen that its pastries are gone. And it looked down to all these little fishies. And the fox was just like, oh my God, what happened to my pastries? I just want to know what happened to the turtle. <laughs> it just kept swimming. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the wolf called a right and then the wolf called the right of his friends to get the to get the fish. Okay. Okay. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Little fox, little turtle, little fish, fisherman. Yeah. Also wolves. What? <laughs> also wolves. <laughs> I must have missed the wolf. <laughs> I guess they were hungry. I guess so. You know something though? What? Who are we? We yeah. are the Nagy, Nagy family. family. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. What? Hey George, it's been a minute man. I haven't talked to you. How's life? How's things? I heard you had a very successful uh, release for All Things Must Pass, the 50th anniversary. What do you guys think? Um, I don't know. Mmm. Yes. yes. Yes? Yes. That's your final answer. Yes. Mmm, you don't win the million dollars. It was good. <laughs> the heck you doing? Food. You must be hungry. Man. Yeah. You got your game? Yeah, I got my prize. What do you think? George had an awesome release. We sold so many CDs and so many records. Everybody loves George so much, which is part of the reason why Ringo needs some more love.
I was very happy that mm -hmm. a lot of people took a picture in front of that. Yes, yes they did, and it was very exciting. I thought that was awesome. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? So now they got to leave us a comment on some of their favorite record in that box was because we had some really awesome stuff, all those promos. It was really, really cool. I love promotional records. They got to give us a like, a big old thumbs up, because everyone likes to thumbs up, because when you do good, you get good, and then they have to. Ooh, subscribe. Huh? Subscribe. Huh? Subscribe. Huh? Subscribe. Huh? Subscribe. Subscribe, ring that bell, ding, ding, ding. We do a like this a lot, and we'll see you soon. Soon? Soon. You mean tomorrow? Tomorrow would be good. Mmm. Mm. <sighs> Spin around.